Hey guys, welcome to uh, episode six, round one of our modern video series uh, with Grixis Delver. Um, this is a deck that uh, we talked about in the deck tech, so if you skipped the deck tech and just went straight to the uh, rounds, go back, watch the deck tech, learn things. Um, I know some of you guys skipped the, uh, skip the deck tech and just go, go right to the games, but we talked about a lot of good stuff in there, so you don't want to miss it. Um, as we said in the deck tech, I think this is a, a really good deck that hasn't been played a lot recently. Um, and I'm not exactly sure why. Um, I think we'll uh, we'll talk about it a little bit more as we go on. But um, but yeah, this deck's gonna be great. So we are on the draw. We've got a pretty good hand. Um, no early pressure, but a uh, mana lake or a mand, and then a Gurmag angler that we can play in the mid game. Um, with you know spells like mana lake or a man, we would love to be leading with a turn one Delver. Um, so these, you know, cards would come with, like, lightning bolts attached to them is the plan, but, uh, this hand's perfectly keepable. Kind of hard to mulligan three lands, four spells, even if we don't have a turn one play. So opponent goes Wooded Foothills into Lavamancer. Um, this could be some sort of zoo, or it could be burn. I'm gonna try and make this larger. Don't know exactly what he is yet. But yeah, I think we just want to kill it. So we can grab a blood crypt, and then uh, basic island will give us all of our colors. If we decide we need to kill something next turn, we can also pollute a delta, fetching a basic swamp. That might have been better. We might have uh, still wanted to just go Steam Vents. That way we can fetch Basic Swamp or just play an Island. Uh, we definitely would like multiple sources of blue more than like, you know, the second red source. Um, but we just drew a Swamp naturally, so it is what it is. Yeah, I think we're just gonna go ahead. I don't know, I kind of almost just want to like counter his next thing and then so I can get out of ahead of his spells. I don't know if that means we're fine taking three damage. I guess this could be some sort of, uh, um, some sort of Naya Zoo deck. I think, I didn't get a chance to look at the deck list, but I think a, a Red Green uh, won the SCG Open um, that finished up uh, today. So uh, this probably could be that deck, but though I'm not familiar with the list. Um, I think I'm just going to kill it. Let's see what he does. We can play a Grimag Angler next turn, which is pretty good. Hard to be upset at a turn 3 Grimag Angler. Noble Hierarch and a scavenging ooze. Yeah, so we're definitely getting the Gurmag Angler down. Um, and he's got two cards, not much left. He can make his ooze a 4-4 and then swing into the Gurmag Angler, which will trade. I think I'm fine with that. He's got to spend his turn doing that. Doesn't seem that bad. Um, yeah, I think we can just fetch up Island. Cast a Gurmag. One, two, three, four. If we draw a fetch land, we could uh, also just play Tasker next turn. So say he trades, that's one card in the yard, and then the fetch land would be a second card. And then plus four lands means we could uh, cast a Tasker on our next turn if we wanted to. <coughs> I imagine, I don't know if he's playing like Gore Clan Rampage or, or anything crazy like that, um, but we could probably see, if he's not playing Gore Clan Rampager, we could see um, you know, him spending two green to trade with this Gurmag, and then I guess he still has a couple mana to deploy another threat this turn, or he just like, you know, uses a lightning bolt to finish off the angler, which I'm perfectly fine with, but it looks like he's just going to exile two of his creatures. Which, this is awesome. This means future Goifs will be small. And that's 
it. Uh, so we don't get to play our Tassigar, but we can hold up, like, you know, he wants to go for a Goy if we could, like, remand it, and then, um, you know, Mana Leak when he goes to play it again that turn. Not the best use for remand, but it's, that's what happens when you don't draw your Delvers. Which has always been, you know, one of the, the problems with this deck is what do you do when you don't have your Delver Secrets, but... You know, the addition of Colagon's Command and Delve Creatures like Gurmag and Tassigur has really helped this strategy. Um, whereas before it wasn't really playable without, you know, the help of, you know, Treasure Crews and stuff like that. So you're just going to go the slow route, not casting a spell. I think I'm fine with that. Um, I don't even know if I really want to play Tassiger here. So next turn he hits me for three. Oh, hold on. The old frozen webcam. Alright, we're back. How bad is playing Tassiger though? Doesn't seem that bad. Like maybe he just plays a couple threats. Like if we get to untap with Tassir, that seems great. I mean, it's turn five. Yeah, turn five, and we're still at fourteen. I, th I think I think we're in a pretty good spot, even though we have like this awkward mana leak in our man. The reason the mana leak is awkward is because he's drawn a lot of lands, which I'm fine with. If he's drawing a lot of lands, it means he doesn't have a bunch of threats. Just gonna Gavany. and pass. Okay. So we could just activate Tassiger, hoping to hit something good here. Um, I think Gavin is next turn and makes him a 3-4. He still bounces off of my Tassigur. Yeah, I think I just want to... I think I just want to pass the turn back. No reason to do anything yet. Just get a free card off of our Tassigur. I guess there is like an argument for thought scouring, but then that means as soon as we, you know, activate Tasker, we're just getting a thought scour back, which is not the worst. But I'd rather have, you know, a shot and an actual good spell other than just another card draw. <clears throat> No swings. I guess he just activates Gavany in response. Which I don't know if he really wants to do. Because, uh, you know, there is, there, there is some merit to just like holding man open and making me at least think about collecting company. And we'll go ahead and cycle this Thought Scour. I don't know though. He did Gavany and then we hit the Bolt. But I think we're bolting the Lava Mancer anyways. Taxium Probe. Three, six, Young Pyromancer. That's interesting. Well, unfortunately... I mean, we could Young Pyromancer and then Probe, but then he just gets to use his Lava Mancer. 
We only have the one red, so we're probably going to be bolting the Lava Mancer this turn. Um, which means one, two, if we use blue for probe and then bolt, we can still hold four up for leak plus remand or activating Tassiger. So I think we'll just get a little bit of information here first. I don't feel like waiting on the Jataxian probe to get value off of it with Young Pyromancer last turn, or next turn. If I'm casting Young Pyromancer, um, then like, our Tassier isn't dying to a Path to Exile, um, we should be fine. Yeah, it's just got land. We drew a Snapcaster, which is interesting. Go ahead and kill this guy. Hierarch is going to be swinging in as a 5-6. Which we can't stop anyways, um, I guess... Not swinging with Tassigur means that we're forcing him to Gavany, though most of his stuff is two mana or less anyways. So if he like draws a threat, he's probably just going to be able to play it and Gavany at the same time. Um, I think we just take one hit, and then we can like end of turn, flush in Snapcaster on a Thought Scarer if he does nothing. And then we should be off to the races from there with Young Pyromancer uh, making tokens. So we know he has a wooded foothills. Oh yeah, he yeah. So we know he has another land. So I doubt he's playing anything in his deck that costs more than four. So he's whatever threat he draws, he'll be able to play it and Gavany in in the same turn. So. So he can drop us to nine. And I think I just want a Snapcaster Thought Scarer here. It gets another guy out. It means he's dead in two turns, so he'll like take six and then six. Um, young, even if we don't draw another spell, Young Pyromancer can just chump the Noble Hierarch if we want him to. Um, and then he has to draw like another threat that he can play through the Mana Leak plus or Man, which he'll, just, he'll probably be able to play. Um, like let's say he draws a Tarmogoyf. He's got a Wood of Foothills in hand. Um, you know, like remand it, and then he plays it again. He can still pay for Leak. But um, getting six power on the field is probably the best thing for me here. Um, I should have tapped the swamp. Like if we thought scour into a thought scour, we're not going to be able to cast it, which will feel pretty awkward. But I could mill him. I think I still want to mill me. Yeah, Gurmag. Gurmag is good. And we are drawing like a Taxian probe or something. Serum visions, sweet. Um, so I guess we'll play this guy first. I can't think of any card, because we know he's got a Wood of Foothills, I can't think of any other card he he could have that would get him out of this situation. Yeah, this should be it. We've got two tokens, we get to play a Gurmag. Um, does Gore Clan Rain Pitcher give Trample? I think it does. Right? Like, that card's awesome, right? I don't think we want Delver. 
We'll keep this here in Visions. Play a land. Play a Gurmag. Um, Exile Probe, Thought Scour, Leak. Leaves Bolt, Visions, Land. Alright, fight your way through that, buddy boy. We can just F6. We're not uh, cracking the Tarn because we want to draw the Serum Visions. So. Alright, game one to us. Yeah, yeah, I know, you have a, I know you have a land. I saw it, buddy. Okay, so... Um, against red green it looks like um he had a sacred foundry i assume it's for wild and um things that kill creatures probably going to be good uh is a static caster i don't think it's going to be that good um you know it's fine against noble hierarch it's fine against uh grim lava mancer but everything else i guess it can like you know let a magma spray um com it combines with a magma spray to kill a wild and but i don't think it's going to be worth it on the draw, we can probably cut the spell pierce. The remand. Maybe the deprive also. We could just keep in all of our counter spells and cut the Jataxian probes instead. Thoughtseize doesn't seem that bad on a Tarmogoyf, just because we don't have many ways to kill it. We just don't play it like this. <laughs> All right, we have a Delver. Um, Jataxian Probe. This Lightning Bolt's great, but no red mana. Uh, but we are playing 10 Fetch Lands. Um, 10 Fetch Lands, a Blood Crypt, uh, two Steam Vents. No, one Steam Vents, two Sulfur Falls. So most of our lands give us red mana. So if we're hitting another land, we probably have access to red. Yeah, I think this hand's great. We could never draw another land and die, but it's the way it goes. <laughs> Noble Heroic, red source, no. I guess we could probe first. Two land, Path, Knight of the Reliquary, Elspeth, Knight Errant. Interesting. Swamp. So, if you pass our Delver, that'd be great. He would probably do it on our turn. I don't think he would pass the Delver. He gets to play Knight of the Reliquary this turn. If we draw a Red Source, we can kill it. Um, Elspeth Knight Errant can be a little rough, but if our Delver flips, we should be fine. Yeah, this is a knight. Come on, Red Source. Ooh, Kitchen Fangs. Alright, that's fine. Scalding turn, no. So we can bolt the Noble Hierarch. Next turn he plays Knight. We can Snapcaster bolt that, and then he plays Elspeth. Hopefully our Delver is flipped by then. We don't have the basic mountain. All right, Steam Vents it is. And... I'll just pass back. That path to exile feels pretty bad, but... So you will be applying some liberal Kitchen Finks beats. Hits us to 10. Like, if we play a Gurmag, next turn he hits us to 7. That's rough. 
Yeah, Jataxian Probe and fetching two duels. That life adds up. Okay. It's not bad. So we can terminate, play Gurmag. Grim Lava Mancer. Jeez. Who put these bad cards in my deck? If he's pathing my Gurmag, it means he's not playing Elspeth next turn, which I guess is fine. Um, Elspeth Knight Errant. Can go up to four, right? Comes down at three, goes up to four. I don't know. I should know. Okay, Google. Better to look it up than guess. Oh, he starts at four, can go to five. Ah, the card's broken. The card's so broken. Um. Yeah, so he could just play Elspeth and fly his Kitchen Finks over my Gurmag. Probably not the best. That drops me to four, but um, then I can just like you know kill his Elspeth. So I imagine he just plays Path. What are we keeping? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we're keeping the Terminate. We could keep the Lightning Bolt, um, which means like next turn we could, if our Delver flips, we could combine our Delver flipping with Snapcaster Bolt to kill his Elspeth. But I don't think. If he plays Elspeth next turn, we get to kill it with Gurmag anyways. Unless he leaves Kitchen Finks back to block and he just like makes a token. I guess we want the Terminate if he draw or if he plays Goyf or another Knight. But we know he has the Elspeth in hand. I don't know, I'm gonna leave the lightning bolt. That might be wrong. I feel like the lightning bolt, um, leaving lightning bolt in the graveyard is better against Elspeth. Um, like if he goes Elspeth, make a token. And leaving uh, Terminate is better against like Knight of the Reliquary slash Tarmogoyf. Oh, we know he has the Elspeth in hand. Could be wrong, but if he has four cards, we know I think we know land. We might not know land. We can assume land. But yeah, we know uh, path and Elspeth. Island it is. That is fine. Come on, Delver. Come on, Delver. Bloodstained Mire. Hi. Yeah, I feel like we need the basic mountain. There's been multiple times where I've wanted it. Like, I don't even think we can afford to play Lava Mancer here. We go to four. He has an Elspeth. He just flies his Elspeth and we're dead. Or he flies his kitchen finks and we're dead. Probably a different game if our Dover flipped, but we did take a bunch of damage from our lands and his kitchen finks was good. I don't know, I think we flooded out a little bit. Have I been revealing all of this? I thought I'd been clicking now. Eh, just giving my opponent free information. I don't think I was revealing them. 
Maybe revealing them to myself. Could have swore I clicked now. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's revealed to me, but not to him. It's been a while since I played with Dolver on Magic Online. Bear with me. Yeah, so punished for not fetching for my red source tapped. <sighs> so he's just going to gun down one of my guys. I guess I'd rather it be the Grim Lomomancer. I still think it was right. to not fetch. I don't know. With Kitchen Finks at 2, that would mean you'd be attacking for 5. So we technically have a life to spare. see if he's just going to trade off the Kitchen Finks for the Delver. I imagine he would. Interesting. So he could have chosen to play Elspeth, but didn't. Now the spell comes, just in time after our dead Delver. Man, it looks like a good draw. So you're saying there's a chance. Yeah, like if we, we mana leak his Elspeth and then if we draw a lightning bolt, we are off to the races. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, we have to counter the voice, because uh, once the voice comes down, we can't really counter anything anyways. Just too many lands. Yeah, so we're dead to end of turn, Lava Mancer, shoot us. Oops, I meant to attack with two, but I clicked the first one back. And then Elspeth fly as Lava Mancer.
I don't know, I feel like our draws were kind of poor in this game. You know, like, we, we did some good things. We played a Gurmag, we played a Dover that never flipped. Um, like, which seems seems par for the course. Um, and he had the path for our Gurmag, and he had, you know, a bunch of nice, powerful spells. Which we weren't able to cobble together any sort of aggression. And he just, you know, eventually just outdrew. Um, outdrew our interaction. Interesting. Maybe we faked him out with our, uh, wow, just lots of stuff. Yeah, we'll still leave one guy back. But all he needs to do is just, like, end of turn Lava Mancer and then untap bolt us. Just use a lot of answer again. Okay. That was game two. So it seems like grabbing his Path Exile is really important. Um, and he's playing bigger things like Elspeth and Knight of the Reliquary. I think Thought Seize is where I want to be. I can flip a Dover and take his interaction, then I should be good. Keeping it. So, Watery Grave, Delver, lets me next turn, like Sphere Visions, Thought Scour. Lots of fun, fun things. If he bolts my Delver, I'm fine with that. It means he's, you know, not playing a Noble Hierarch on turn one. Bloodstained Liner. Um... Do I want to mill that? I think I do. I'm getting two random draws off the Thought Scout and the Serum Visions. Yeah, so we'll say no, and then we'll just Thought Scout that away. Drawing another Delver. The Steam Vents. Well, second Delver is really good. He has to kill this, though, right? Yeah. Works for me. Delver numero dos. Come on, Delvers. You can do it. Dark Slick Shores, come on. Uh, hey, I think I can get it. I think I can make my Delver flip now.
Yeah, so we grew up as Goyf a little bit, but I think that's fine. Um, we should have just played the Dark Slake Shores. That was dumb. Because now it's going to come in and play tapped regardless. We can Thought Scour him, drawing our Terminate, and then we can draw our Serum Visions after that. Sure. We can just get that back with Coligun's command if we really wanted to, though now we're at the stage of the game where we're just going to like Snapcaster Coligun's command him. Huntmaster Knight of the Reliquary. It's pretty good. This was Serum Visions first. I don't think we want the Spell Snare. The Thought Seas should be fine. I think we'll pass back. We'll take another hit from the Goyf. Where we can like uh, make sure we can mana leak in Elspeth, since we know we saw it game one, or like things like Huntmaster, those are all pretty bad for us if they resolve. Um, I think it's worth taking the four damage, and then we're drawing a Thought Seize. So like the Thought Seize is going to put us to seven, um, but then like you know terminate on this, or like mana leak on one spell, and then on our next turn terminate, and then Thought Seize something else that should leave him with not much left. And because we have the terminate, if he, you know, just wants to like pass the turn without playing a threat, uh, we, you know, we could just terminate the torment glyph, and then we're in a really good spot. I think if he has a bolt, he probably just uses it here. Knight of the Reliquary and two Path to Exile. I think I just take Knight and then maybe I just Snapcaster Serum Visions? Seems about, yeah, that seems right. Or do I want to hold the Snapcaster Mage for a Terminate? Yeah, I think I want to hold the Snapcaster Mage for a Terminate. If he does nothing, then I can call a Gun's Command to get back a Delver and just make him discard a card. Um, hope. I guess if he draws another land, he probably plays Gavany and then he discards that land, but now that we've seen the Gavany, I don't think he gains anything by holding it. He's doing nothing, though. We can fight through his paths eventually. I think as long as he doesn't land another threat, we're fine. Maybe he discards a land here. He discards a path. So we knew we we know we drew a spell. The spell was lightning bolt. Alright. So we know he has Path to Exile in hand. Nothing else. Gross. I 
Imagine he exiles either my Terminate or my Colagon's Command. Those are my two strongest cards. The Delver, but I have another one. That doesn't seem right. All right, I think I'm just gonna get rid of his path. Well, I make him use it. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. That seems bad. I could make him discard in his, uh, uh, in his draw step. Magma Spray is a clean answer to a voice of resurgence. This is where we need him to start drawing lands. That is not land. Here's the last path. Birds you can have. Ermac, sweet. This is what this is what we need. One, two, three. Sure. Yep, your guy is a 4-4. Four, four. Terminate? Tasker is good. Should have paid more attention to what I was exiling. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, if we didn't exile all those lands, we could have left a whole bunch of good stuff. We could have got rid of those Seer Visions, but it is what it is. 
kind of push for time a little bit. So we can Gavany next turn to put us to one. And he takes nine. Tasker might just chump. Is he going to go for a spell? He is. Punished. Yeah, he gets to pay for the leak here, but it means he's not attacking with knight or anything. I guess he wasn't attacking with knight before. I'm just going to activate Tasker here so he doesn't give me the mana leak back. And so I can F6 and let my opponent figure it out. I'm just going to give me a Thought Scour, it looks like. So he goes to 14. Yeah, so we were going to get the Thought Scour regardless of whether we exiled those serum missions or not. So that makes me feel a little bit better. Though we need to hit a Terminate or a Coligon's Command. If we hit a Coligon's Command, we can get back Snapcaster and then Snapcaster Terminate. Because I think we have... Yeah, we have 7 mana. So he goes up to 13, gets a 2-2. Two, two. Plays a Stirring Wildwood. We draw a Serum Visions. We'll Thought Scour first. Thought Cease doesn't help us. Serum Visions draws us a Young Pyromancer and Jataxian Probe. Um, I guess we can set the Jataxian Probe. Play Delver. Swing with nothing. Yeah, we don't want to swing with anything because we want to be able to double block the Knight of the Relic Quarry, possibly. Um, also, depending on what he does, if he's just going to like pass and flip the Hump Master or like swing with Knight, we don't really want to be have to. We're probably chumping with Delver. Um, what's he going to give us? A Mana Leak? It's not worth activating. Maybe it is worth activating so we don't draw the Geotaxian Probe. Like, is Young Pyromancer even helping us? I don't think so. Why am I not playing a Damnation or something like that? That would be good right now. Oh no. F6. Nope, stop. Don't attack. Yeah, I think we're going to lose this game. This is going to flip his Ravager back over. And then he gets to shoot down my Young Pyromancer. We should be dead. I feel like this match has demonstrated um, what's always been Delver's weakness is if they kill your Delver, then you, you know, you're not... We're, we're like pushed into playing this control sort of reactive game um, where we don't have the really good control elements to help push us over the top. Um, like, you know, more Coligans commands and Cryptic command and things like that that can, uh, like, really uh, reward us for, like, you know, stretching into the mid to late game. Instead, we've got, the, like, these proactive elements like Jutexian Probe and things like Young Pyromancer that don't help us out of these situations where it'd be a whole lot better if we had, um, you know, things like, uh, yeah, like, like what I just said, the Cryptic commands and damnations after board and just ways to go over the top you know like one Gurmag Angler if he turns down the line is not enough when our opponent's still at 15 we're just getting destroyed Yeah, he's got a handful of spells that doesn't even matter.
Yep. Well, that is round one. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think what we could have done differently, but it's uh, it seems like it's a really tough matchup for us. He has a lot of creatures that are must kills for us, and he has enough removal that he can uh, keep our delvers off the field. And um, it really plays into the weakness of this deck, which is what can you do when the Dover is uh, when they're able to keep the Dovers off the field. And I think this showed how you know we were able to to hang in there for a little bit, but um, you know he's drawing better than us in the mid to late game, and eventually he just drew you know the threats that he needed. Well, we drew lots of lands, um, and that seems to be how those matches go. But uh, yeah, we will uh, hop into another eight man and. Um, see if we can try and get a win. So thanks for watching. We'll be back for round two.